Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to design this responsive navbar using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Here we can see we have this logo on the left and then we have the menu items and we also have a hover effect for the menu items. And then on the right, we have social media icons. So here you can add the link of your social media pages. So this is how it will look on a desktop. Now let me show you how it will look on a mobile device. So let's decrease the width of the screen. And uh, we can see it is completely responsive. Here we can see when we have a width of, uh, I think it's less than 700 pixels. We can see there is less space between these menu items. And if you decrease the width of the screen even more, we can see that we have this menu icon over here. And if I click on that, we have the menu items displayed over here. And if I click on this once again, it goes back. So this is how it will look on a mobile device. And uh, this is how it will look on a desktop. So let's get started. Right here, I have created this folder called responsive navbar and I just open it with VS code. Let's start by creating the necessary files. So let's click on new file and let's create an HTML file. I just name it index.html and we also need to have a CSS file. Let's name it style.css. And we also need to have a JavaScript file. So let's create a file called main.js. All right, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code, you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And let's link our CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the href, I'll just type style.css. And let's also link our script file over here. So I'll just type script colon src and press tab and uh, here in the src i'll just tap main.js all right now let's start with the html of the navbar so we'll create a nav element and we'll give it a class of navbar container and uh, in that the first thing we will have is the logo so let's create a division with the class of logo and we'll create an anchor tag for the logo so that when someone clicks on the logo they should be taken to the home page so here i'll just tap lb dot Right now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS code. So once you install that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see we have the logo displayed over here. All right, let's continue with the design. So now we have these menu items. So for this, we'll create an unordered list. So after this logo, let's create an unordered list. And in that we will have list items and in the list items, we will have anchor tags. And the first menu item that we need to have is about us. So I'll just type about us over here. And let's copy this list item and uh, we need to have three more menu items. So I'll just paste it three more times. And the next one we need to have is services and then we have our work and contact. All right, that's it with the menu items. And the last thing we need to do is add these uh, social media icons. So for that, let's create a division with the class of social. And in that we will have anchor tags for the social media icons. So let's create an anchor tag over here. And here you can add the link of your social media page. Now for the social media icons, we're going to use font awesome. So let's get the CDN of font awesome. So you can just Google for font awesome CDN and you can find the link of this website called cdnjs.com. So let's open that and let's copy the link from here. So I'll just copy the link of all.min.css. So I'll just click on copy link tag and let's go back to our VS code and uh, let's go to the head tag and I'll just paste it over here. All right, now let's go to the font awesome website to get the code of the icons. So here I'm in fontawesome.com. So let's search for the icon. Let's search for Instagram. And here we can see the icon. So let's click on Instagram square. And let's click on this code to copy it. And let's go back to our HTML file. And I'll just paste it over here inside the first anchor tag. All right, now let's copy this anchor tag and paste it down. And for the next one, we need to have the icon of Twitter. So I'll just replace Instagram with Twitter. And let's go back to our website. And here we can see we have all the items displayed over here. 
All right now let's style this using CSS so let's go back to our VS code and uh, here we can see we have already linked our CSS file so let's go to our style.css file and the first thing we will do is target the navbar container so here we can see we have this nav element with this class navbar container so here let's type navbar container and the first thing we will do is we will set the display to flex so that all these elements will be one next to the other Right now we can see that the logo is at the top and then we have the menu items after that and uh, then we have the icons below that. So let's set the display to flex and uh, now we can see we have all these elements one next to the other. Right now let's set the max width of this navbar container to 800 pixels. So I'll just type max width 800 pixels. And uh, let's set justify content to space between so that all the elements are spaced correctly. So here we can see we have the logo on the left. Then we have the many items at the center and then we have the icons on the right. Let's also bring this to the center. So for that, let's type margin. And I'll just set the margin to zero for top and bottom and auto for left and right. Now we can see it is in the center. We'll also center align it vertically. So for that, let's type align items to the center. All right, now the next thing we will do is we'll set the font family to Roboto. So let's type font family Roboto and sans serif and uh, we'll also add a box shadow so let's type box shadow and we'll set the values to 0 4 pixels 30 pixels negative 3 pixels rgba 0 0 0 and 0 0.3 let's also add some padding so let's set a padding of 0 for top and bottom and 32 pixels left and right I think we can set a margin top over here so here instead of 0 I'll just type 24 pixels all right now let's set the position of this navbar container to fixed so that even if you scroll down or up the navbar should be at the same position so here I'll just type position and I'll just set it to fixed and now here we can see when we set the position to fixed the width of the element has changed so for that we have to set the left position to 0 and the right position to 0 and now we can see we have the correct width all right now the next thing we will do is style this unordered list so we want all of them to be positioned one next to the other so even for that we will set a display of flex so here we can see inside the navbar container we have this unordered list so let's type navbar container ul and let's set the display to flex and we'll also get rid of these bullets so for that let's type list style and set it to none now let's see whether we have any padding or margin for this ul so let's add a background color and here we can see we have some padding on the left so let's tap padding zero all right now everything looks all right so let's remove this background color all right now let's style this logo so for the logo we have a division with the class of logo so let's target that here just type navbar logo and in that we have an anchor tag so let's target this anchor tag so just type a and uh, let's set the font size of the logo to 28 pixels and uh, let's set the font weight to 900 and we'll also remove the underline so I'll just type text decoration and set it to none and let's also set the color to black so I'll just type color black All right now let's style these uh, anchor tags for these menu items so here we can see we have list items and in that we have anchor tags so let's target that so I'll just type navbar container ul a and first of all let's remove the underlines so let's tap text decoration and set it to none and we'll also set the color of the text to black we'll also make it uppercase so let's type text transform uppercase and we'll also set the font weight to bold and let's also set the font size to 14 pixels All right now we need to have some space between these elements so let's add some padding so I'll just type padding and we'll set a padding of 0 for top and bottom and 32 pixels for left and right All right now we also need to have a hover effect so here we can see when we hover over this 
we have this background color so let's go back and uh, here let's type navbar container ula colon hover and uh, let's set a background color of red when we hover over this and we'll set the color of the text to white and we'll also add a border bottom and we'll set it to two pixels solid black now let's hover over this and we can see we have the hover effect but uh, we don't have the correct height for these elements so let's go back to our css and for the anchor tag i'll just set the height to 100 percent of the parent and we still don't have the correct height that's because the parent elements of the anchor tag don't have the correct height so let's go back and let's go to the styles for the ul and here we'll just set the height to 40 pixels and we'll also remove the margin so here i'll just type margin zero now let's also set the height of the list items so here we can see inside the ul we have the list items so here i'll just type navbar container ul li and let's set the height to 100 percent of the parent which is the ul all right now we'll also bring this text to the center vertically so here for the anchor tag let's set the display to flex and align items to the center and now we can see it looks all right and let's hover over this and we have the correct height let's also add smooth transition between the hover effect so for that let's go to the anchor tag so here i'll just type transition and let's set it to all 400 milliseconds ease and now if you hover over this we have a smooth transition all right now the last thing we need to style is this set of social media icons so for that we have a division with the class of social and in that we have anchor tags so let's go to a style or css file and let's target that i'll just type navbar container social a and let's set the font size to 30 pixels and we'll set the color of the text to black and we'll also remove the underline so i'll just type text decoration to none and we'll also have some gap between these two icons so i'll just set the display of the social to flex and let's set a gap of 16 pixels and now we can see it looks all right and that's it with the navbar of the desktop version so everything looks all right we have the hover effect and everything is displayed correctly and that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you how to make this responsive so if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day